<laughs> no, no, it is a two-way street. <laughs> but like, I can my my peripheral vision is good enough that I can see the whites of your eyes. The human brain is wired to recognize that. All right, all but right. Anyway, we're, we're in, in game here. one. Dreamland. Um, yeah, probably the right right spot to strike two. I would guess. Um, this would battlefield. Yeah. Um, I, I guess if per they really wanted to, they could go to like Yoshi's or something. But yeah, no, I think I really would probably strike that. He wants more space. That is unfortunate. He loses the stock off yeah, of an SD uh, before Pi takes any percent. Pi is playing pretty safe so far. It's such a huge advantage to just be up a full stock too. Now you can just trade as much as you want. Yeah. Try to tack on anything. Okay, he needed to actually down throw there and get the tech chase off. A lot of people have like a bad mindset though playing with the lead. They're just like, oh, I can just go in with, you know, whatever. Like, you know the mentality, I can trade. Yeah. But then you end up getting hit outright and not trading. Yeah, that's oh, really pulls an SDJ. <laughs> Pi is shouting right now, I thought I was dead. I'm alive. But see, like, there you see it. He had a full stock lead, now it's even. Like, yep. he, he clearly did not use his advantage as well as he could have. Wow. He just side beat at a shielding opponent who inexplicably dropped shield and got hit by it. That's amazing. And that was the nastiest reverse knee I think I've ever seen. Yeah, with some bad DI to boot from Caleb. Alright, let's see a tech chase. He might have been going for the, the like the crouch cancel tech there. I th I personally think Pi should have tech chased him with down throw a little bit more before back throwing him. Falcon is fairly easy to tech chase. Yeah, I would agree to that. He has sort of a long roll, and he has... It's not like he has a shine or something that he can use right afterwards. Now, maybe... No, he's got the Falcon shine. Which is... Oh, jab. Free frame jab. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But it's not the same as having a one frame shine. No. Oh, okay. Oh, unfortunate... Air dodge there by Pi. Alright, I'm gonna say O'Reilly is actually really outplaying Pi so far this game. Uh, he's only up by one stock, but he had a clean full SD, so... Well, it's also par partially the matchup. Like, now Pi's at low percent, like, he can get a quick combo here and tie it up. That's very true. If he can put Falcon off stage, he'll be in a real good, real good position. He doesn't want those Randy knees to... No. He doesn't want to get grabbed. He doesn't want to get above Falcon. Oh, okay. Tried to cross up to act attack. He maybe missed space to one a little too far. Nice back air. I like that coverage. Good choice. Okay. Crouch cancel. Just crouch canceled the knee. Or uh the kick actually. Whatever you call that. Slap. Okay, that should be the stock. You should be able to close it out. Alright. So Pi is still in this. Yeah, I mean, he needs, he needs to put Falcon off stage and then it sort of just becomes... Oh, that's really hard. Nah, yeah, that's, that's that. That's hard to do from that point. So really it takes game one. Um, I wouldn't say really convincingly, but like at the same time, he had a lot of momentum towards the end of the game. Okay, am I picking the dream line? Interesting stage choice. I think I certainly would have gone to FOD. Sheik is very strong in FOD, and Falcon is very not strong in FOD. But there's a tech chasing I was wanting to see. Yeah, I've noticed that Pi actually goes to the stage a lot. I wonder if it's like... Well, it was where they played the first game, too, so maybe he's just trying to send a message, Salty way back. Um, no, there was another matchup that he went to the stage two. I don't remember who it was against. Against Kells, maybe? Maybe it could have been. I think he might just like the stage. Hey, that's fair. But, like, think about it for Sheik, like, you can kind of do FD stuff on the bottom, but then you can always have platforms you can escape to if, like, people start comboing you. Yeah. My, I mean, I think this is a fine stage for Sheik. I just think Falcon is good. So if you're going to be picking a stage for the matchup, 
you might as well pick one where he's a little more disadvantaged. Especially with a Falcon with as good a movement as a really... Right. But it could be a confidence thing too, you know, if if Caleb can win here, he'll think, you know, I got him on Dreamland. Yeah. Because technically, unless they gentleman back to it, even if he wins here, he really couldn't take him back. Right. So he's sort of won on Aurelia's best counter pick. Right. And it's, uh, you know, this is a, could be a five game set. If you win on Dreamland, you already take away the option of him going back to Dreamland because Aurelia already won here. Save the counter picks for later on. Yep. Okay, let's see what he can get off this tech chase. Okay, maybe could have should have jabbed it there to reset him, but I think gets he's hesitating there. just a little bit. There, okay, much. nice. Well, I mean, it, it's hard when you have an opponent who's going to make it tricky. Okay, oh, really could have need there, perhaps. Good nair. Well, he should be good. Don't follow up. Gets a forward throw? Yep. That's what I was thinking. Mostly just posturing in neutral here. They sort of cross each other up. There's just sort of straight, but they're back in neutral. Finds a grab. Down throw. Okay. Yeah, he was saying he likes that forward tilt at those percents. Yeah, especially oh. if they DF behind you, might as well. What do you have to lose? Or are they playing tricks on the ledge? Yeah, doing the hack dash. Oh, man. There that should go. be an edge hug. Back no. air. Okay, do another back air. Yeah, that's the nice thing about edge guarding Falcon, especially when you're Sheik. Um, you just kind of are repeating the same situation over yeah. and over. Fox is very similar to that, too. Yeah. Just hold edge and then back air. I'm sure Falco is... No, well, Falco can dare, so it kind of gives him another option. Yeah. Just sort of uh, shrug it. The thing with Falco, you know, you get one dare on him, or one bear, and he's dead. But with Falcon, it just resets it. He gets to come back again. Yeah. I remember Fulup one time was talking to me about how <laughs> he thinks Falcon is, like, mentally a hard character because you spend a lot of your time dying. Like, yeah. you know, you get back here and then you down B or recover, try that again. But when you're Space Animal, if you die, you just die. Yeah. And then you come back. But when you're Falcon, you have to spend a lot of time being in this position where you're like, I'm dying now. Right. But then if you can, you know, manage to get them to mess up, you make it back, and suddenly you've got, like, so much momentum. That's true. You keep... Basically, you give yourself the oh, opportunity to let them make it. Amazing combo there by O'Release. And a little wow. bit of disrespect. Wow, this guy is a god. Pi did better against Kells than he has done against O'Reilly so far. Uh, I mean, it's not like O'Reilly is trouncing him. Uh, two stocks, I think, both of these games. Going straight back again. All of the games have been here so far. Yeah. But O'Reilly has really not. I mean, he's been convincing. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of interested uh, as to why Pi keeps going back here. But I understand that there is a, like a counter pick advantage to it. Maybe, maybe even it's a comfortable stage for him. Right. But you've got to, you've got to acknowledge when it's not working out for you, and there might be a better stage for this matchup. Absolutely yes. Like you said, it's a best of five. You can take him to found. You can take him to missions. You can take him to FD. Yeah, I mean, there are, you clearly have options. I don't know if you noticed, but almost this entire game is played just on the main stage. It's essentially like they're playing on uh, Final Destination. Yeah, that's true. Whoa! Just right out of nowhere. I says, you gotta be kidding me. Nice grab. Let's see if we can get a tech chase. Oh, yep, he gets... Yeah. That slight DI behind Tekken plays is sometimes hard to cover. You need to maybe down this smash it. Uh, miss tech, I guess. Whoa. Oh! Covered that tech with an up air. Oh. Tried to do the same thing he did before. Wispy coming in just a second too late. So, the winner of this match is <laughs> gonna yeah, be that runoff there. Against. 
Mundungu, perhaps? Yeah, Mundungu. Okay. And then we got Kells and Bro also. Alright. That's, uh, that's what I like to hear. We got still a pretty stacked tournament. There's gonna be some good matches. Next chance opportunity. So he oh. he predicted the second place, but he didn't get the up smash up quick enough. That would have covered that, but so he selected the right option, but he didn't execute. You can tell a really playing confident too. You know, he's just like throwing out side keys and stuff. It might be even right now, but yeah, he, I think he has the mental edge, or at least he feels confident. Yeah, yeah, there again. You can tell that at least a little bit he's in Caleb's head. You got an air dodge off in there. Caleb not waiting for the tech, just going for the hard read. Mm, Rodney. And moonwalk to back air. What a statement. Yeah, that was sick. Okay. That wasn't, I mean. We still got a game. Yeah. Clearly, Pi knew he didn't have to edge guard there, but it wasn't like a really good one. Good conversion into grab. And what are we going to see off of that stomp? Nothing, really. Um, that up throw against Sheik is so cool. Oh my gosh. I really love that down smash. Aru's been just really good with his pivots and movement. Yeah. Oh! Oh, soft knee, um, but still gonna be enough. Got him. I think he was probably hoping to connect him to a knee afterwards, but no worries.